hello and welcome to the second video on python in excel now in this video i'm going to walk you through the code on how to create subplots using the traditional matplotlib and c1 visualization libraries so let's get started now this is the sample data set we actually worked with we have all these columns the other date all through to the total columns now these are the categorical columns the region city payment type account manager order priority and product now let me just walk you through the amazing visualization here so this is cool we have three visualization and let's see the code so i'm going to just on the keyword press ctrl shift u to expand the formula bar now the first thing i did is to use the py function to access the python library and then i read the data set into a pandas data frame and i store that into a df variable now this line of code actually creates a list of the categorical columns that we created a subplot on the columns are city payment type account manager now the next column actually creates the figure and the grid of the subplot and of course we have one row and of course we have three columns and the fixed size is set to 30 units of width and the height is set to 20. now i use the flatten function of the c1 library to flatten the data from 2d array into a single or 1d array and of course i actually specify 20 inside common font size in a variable now the reason why i actually did is because i'm just going to use this common font size again and again to increase the font size of so many things like the legion the y axis the x axis and so on and so forth and then we use the for loop to iterate through each of the columns in the categorical you know column a and then this code actually creates the count plot itself and then we specify the x and of course the hue is set to region now the region is one of the columns in our data set okay and then we actually fed the data set that is the df as the data set and then this line of code actually creates the rotation of our you know subplot to 90 degree which is very important for us to be able to read now these two next line of code actually specify the label size for the y and the x axis okay so we have the tick dot parameters and of course we use the common font size that we defined here in this variable and of course we also use the same thing on the legend okay and of course this actually set the font size of the um, axis level the x level and the y level and of course we have the subtitle and the subtitle is actually the categorical data and of course we also use the common font size plus four to jack up the font size of the subtitle so that it can be more readable and then we we'll specify this fig dot tight underscore layout to neatly place the chart on our grid without overlapping then we use the plt dot show to visualize the count plot okay so i'm going to press ctrl shift u to collapse this is the amazing subplot right so we can see the legend now because we set the hue to region so we can see the region repeated south east west north and of course we have the same thing on each of the you know plot for the city payment type and account manager so this has never been possible before but in excel with python right now we can do a whole lot so i hope you enjoyed this video now let me just expand the code again so that i can go through it now i'm going to paste this in the comments below so i can see and even try the same thing once you have python flighted to your system so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please like this video share with your friends comment and subscribe to this channel thank you and bye for now cheers